Hello, my name is Alicia Drake and welcome back to Coffee and Conversations. Our goal is to create transparency in the world of real estate and to expose the hidden nuances that are typically only privy to agents and brokers. Today's guest, Sandra Dazan, is one of Malibu's top agents, having closed more than 750 million in home sales, including Malibu's highest residential sale in 2011 and the highest land sale in history. His rapid path to success caught the attention of Forbes, which featured him on its prestigious 30 under 30 list. Please welcome Sandro Dazan. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us about this beautiful home? Yeah, we're here at 6097 Murphy Way in Malibu, which is located in the Winding Way area overlooking Paradise Cove, Point Doom. You get amazing sunset views to the west behind me. The house is brand new construction, just completed this year. 600 foot private driveway that leads you to the home, which is over 10,000 square feet. Six bedrooms, six and a half baths, a full wellness center with spa, steam, gym home theater, an attached guest house, it really has it all. That's gorgeous, and how much is it? Uh, we're asking 16.9 million. One of the things that you don't see unless you're actually in this house are the incredible views out the window. You've got these gorgeous rolling hills and the ocean, it is spectacular. Yes, the architecture was really you know, designed to maximize the views with all the windows. Kind of a Mediterranean influence. We have these unfilled travertine floors, these beautiful teak doors and windows throughout, and these rustic barn beams throughout the house, which give a lot of warmth. Fabulous, well, I'm sure you're gonna sell it right away. I hope so. So I brought you here today, Sandro, being the top agent in Malibu, mm -hmm. to talk about the market and what you're seeing and experiencing with buyers and sellers. Can you tell me a little bit about that? This year, if we're looking at year to date, we're, uh, our volume and units are actually down 50% compared to last year. But considering that, this, we are seeing real strengths in the market. There's some very high sales. Uh, we had a sale that was outside the colony gates for a 30 foot lot. The house was a fixer and that sold for multiple, with multiple offers for 19.1 million. It's a big number. Uh, There's also a sale on Cliffside, which was a 2,300 square foot home no pool that sold for uh, just under 22 million. Wow. So there's definitely uh, signals of real strength in the market considering uh, the amount of activity has been down. It's understanding considering we had the fire in November and then followed by the rains. So it really shut down the market for about three to four months. But now that the sun's shining, things are really picking up. Yeah, and you're probably also dealing with a lack of inventory. So yes. how is that affecting the values? Well, it's, it's interesting because you're seeing less sales, but you're also seeing less inventory. Mm. Um, and then now as the demand is starting to pick up, uh, it's definitely actually increased. The prices, the median price has increased. I think this time last year was about 3.3 and now we're close to 3.5 million. So I would like to ask you a question about your mindset and how you work with clients and helping them and yourself. So I'll preface this that when I was starting out in real estate back in 2002. We were in a robust market. Then in 2008, the market crashed and it changed the whole energy around buying and selling. And it was very difficult for me at that time to keep my energy high and to work with buyers and sellers in an environment that was very challenging. So now we're just coming out of these natural disasters that happened in Malibu. And I'm sure that you're kind of experiencing that perhaps with your buyers or your sellers or perhaps yourself. How do you personally deal with that? Well, I think it's um, being positive. We live in one of the most beautiful places in the world here. And we were hit with this, you know, a huge disaster, which you know, we've had fires before. This fire just happened to be one of the largest in history. Um, but we bounced back. Malibu's still Malibu. It's still one of the most beautiful places and more people want to be here every year uh, regardless. So it's really educating both the buyers, letting them know that, yes, there is still value in Malibu, but they're not gonna get steals because the demand is there. Um, and also educating the sellers, letting them know, yes, the activity is down considerably, but demand is still increasing. So I, I think that as moving forward, it's all about keeping the, both the buyer and seller on the same page and educating them and managing their expectations. And what about you personally? Like, how do you keep your energy level up when you're working with them. Do you have a practice that you participate in? That's really trying to be focused on being in the moment. Um, so I like to spend a lot of time outdoors, whether that's mountain biking or surfing or hiking. 
it's a nice escape. You're a surfer. Yes. <laughs> it's a that. nice escape from uh, the day to day, you know, hecticness that goes on in our business. So to kind of reset and just get in the moment and really remember why we're here. And it just kind of reminds you how fortunate and grateful that we are. So after the fires, when we had all of this tragedy here mm -hmm. and people that were displaced for their homes, was there something that your company, the agency, my company as well mm -hmm. too, but that the agency here in Malibu yeah. did to help those people? Yeah, we did. We, uh, we helped um, with an event uh, called One Love Malibu is the organization that put, put it together uh, at the One, One Gun Ranch. Mm -hmm. um, and the agency was part of that. And we raised lots of money uh, for families that you know, were devastated in the fire. Lots of donations were made, clothes, computers, people that lost everything were able to come. And, and uh, it was a great positive way to give back to the community and give people hope in a time where they felt like they lost everything. That's great. Yeah. And do you, what would you like to leave here or have an impact on as a leading agent in Malibu? You have a lot of influence. You have a lot of influence over buyers and sellers and just values here. What would you like to personally bring to this market? Um, I would like uh, to help, you know, set an, help our community set an example to other communities on how we treat individuals, how we treat the environment and animals. Um, you know, especially in a time where we had a, a tragedy like the fires, to show how we can bounce back in a positive way. Um, and any way that I can do that in the community is really a goal of mine. Um, I was born and raised here. I'm now raising my, my new son, so plan to be here for forever. Um, and I'm grateful to be here. So I uh, want to let everybody know that we can really uh, thrive after a situation that we have, for sure. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tell me, where can everyone find you? Uh, you can find me, you can Google my name, Sandra Dazan, or find me on Instagram, Sandra Dazan, um, or email me, sandro at theagencyre.com. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Join us next time as we talk about interior design and the overall value it adds to your home.